okay, Jamie, what you need to do is a pivot table. They're actually pretty easy once you know what they are. So if you have your form and it looks something like this, you have, you know, your timestamp, the kid's name, the activity and the hours, what you would do is you're going to select all this data. You're going to go to insert. I'm a liar. You're going to go to data, not insert, data, pivot table. And it's going to create a new sheet you'll see here at the bottom and it'll say, okay, well, what do you want to do? So for your rows, you want to add the kids' names. Now, if the kid has spelt their name improperly, it's not going to pick it up. So you'll have to eyeball that. So for example, if I put Jen Giffen once and then Jennifer Giffen another time, it's not going to recognize those as the same names. But anyway, then um, you want to go to values and hours. And it will sum all the hours. So it shows you that Allison has three hours, that Billy has 12 hours, because um, that's how pivot tables work. What they do is they take all your information and then add up based on what you've said. Well, it's one of the ways that they work. Um, but yeah, so once again, you're just going to, on rows, click add and go by name. And then for values, you're going to, oh yeah, and you have to make sure that this is sum. Sum. Show as default, but you could show it as percent or whatever. But if you just click those two, so add the name and then add the hours under values, it should get you exactly what you want. Hope this helps. And now.